Good morning, church. It is good to spend this time with you again today and to talk about our, our life together in this community and around wherever you are. I know that each of us have uh, challenges at times to try and figure out where the, the Lord might be leading us in our lives, how God would want us to do certain things. And uh, many times it's obvious and other times it's uh, more complicated, it's more obscure. And I got to thinking about the scriptures that talk about this, and one that's really well known, one you might even be able to, to say by heart, is the Psalm 23, where it's written about the Lord is my shepherd, and that the shepherd leads us. So let me read that to you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love that text because it talks about that God walks with us through each and every trial and good times and bad in our life. And God, we know, is not, metaf not actually walking physically with us. It's the Holy Spirit that, that is with us within our heart. And that the Holy Spirit will give us encouragement and guidance and even says in the scripture that when we can't even think of the words to pray, the Holy Spirit will pray for us. The Holy Spirit is our companion and our comforter the Spirit of Christ that he promised before he ascended into heaven that would come and live in each, with each and every one of us. This particular verse, Psalm 23, is one that's, uh, like I said, is very well known, but it also is the inspiration for a hymn that we know the title is, He Leadeth Me, O Blessed Thought. And this hymn is one that's really well known, but it has a very interesting background to it. And as you know, I like to... Uh, educate you and I about how uh, the hymns, where the hymns came about and where the words, who wrote the words and why. But it went back to 1862, so we're talking about around Civil War time. And there was a, a Baptist pastor named Reverend Joseph Gilmore, who was a seminary professor and, and Baptist minister, as I mentioned. He, he had been a guest preacher at the First Baptist Church in Philadelphia one evening. And after returning from the worship service, he was at a friend's house for a little after service um, get together. And while he's there, he, he gets his inspiration for this hymn. And he had preached his sermon that night had been based on Psalm 23. And so the Psalm 23 was in his mind. And uh, so he grabbed some paper and he wrote down these words in just a few minutes. And when he was finished, he did like a uh, uh, other people do sometimes. He handed off this paper to his wife, and he's, I, he didn't really give her instructions as far as I know. He just handed her the words, I guess, maybe for her to hang on to for him. I don't know. But Reverend Gilmore's wife, she loved the words, and she thought they were very poignant. And she sent them to a magazine called The Watchman and Reflector. She sent the words in maybe hoping they'd be published or something like that. Well, none of them heard anything else about that for three years. And three years later, Reverend Gilmore was visiting the Second Baptist Church in Rochester, New York. And he picked up the hymnal that was there, and he was thumbing through the hymnal. And what did he find but this hymn, He Leadeth Me, with his words put to music. Well, what had happened was the words had been published, and a Dr. William B. Bradbury, who was a hymn, hymn composer, had found the words and decided that he wanted to make that into a hymn and wrote the music for it. And then uh, Reverend Gilmore really didn't know about this until after he found that in hymnal published three years later. So I'd like to share this song with you. He leadeth me, O blessed thought. I encourage you to sing along and think about how God leads you each and every day. Sometimes it's not as obvious as others, but I think oftentimes we'll just stop and listen and sense the presence of the Spirit. Then we can get some direction in our lives. He leadeth me. Leadeth me, O blessed thought, O words with heavenly comfort fraught, whate'er I do, where'er I be, 
Still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Sometimes mid scenes of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom, by water still or troubled sea, still tis his hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Lord, I would place my hand in thine, nor ever murmur, nor repine, content whatever lot I see. Still tis my God that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. And when my task on earth is done, when by thy grace the victory's won, in death's cold wave I will not flee, since God through Jordan leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Well, that's my prayer for you and for myself and all those uh, that are around, that they would listen to the Lord's nudging, they'll take the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and truly let us be led into a brighter future, a future where we can shine the light of God in the darkest corners of this world, into our community, in our homes, our family, our friends, our churches. Help each of us to truly be led by Christ through his Holy Spirit. Amen, and have a beautiful day.